Well, good morning and welcome to Chasing Chunks. Today you join me on the Sunday of a weekend where I've not been out carp fishing. I've not done any time out on the bank just because I've got family commitments. So I've decided just to try and get a fix and get a bend in the rod as I'm going to be doing for most of this winter and just come out with a jig rod come down on the Bold Carp Syndicate and if you've not seen this water before then there's a good possibility that you're new to my channel if you are then don't forget to give it a subscribe and also don't forget to give this video a like at the end if you've enjoyed it if you haven't comment below and tell me what a knob I am <laughs> So, as I'm on short time, I thought, well, I'll just drop down here and have a go at the pike and the perch. There's only really two areas where I would actually fish at this time of year, and that's both on the dams, on the M6 opposite, hello mate, hello. and on this um, man bank here. The reason is because you've got the both dams and with that you've got structure which goes down to probably about six or seven foot in front of the swim and the pike like to hold up at the bottom of that structure for any silvers that come along that they can ambush now it may be a little bit difficult because we haven't even had our first frost yet we're into november and with that, then I would think the silvers are still pretty spread out. When it gets a little bit colder, you'll find that the uh, silverfish hold up along the structure, just for a little bit of uh, cover. And that's why the pike are down there. So I've got an hour. Let's see whether we can catch one. As you can see, we've got a very active winter syndicate on there. There's some amazing fish been coming out and if you've got a bait boat and a little bit of time and like a little bit of winter fishing then this place produces some absolute bangers during the winter period so if you're after a winter ticket then I would drop uh, Dave Bailey a message and the links will be in the description below to the website email him and see whether you can get a winter ticket on here I've more, I'm not too sure but I think he may do a pike ticket as well but uh, I think to be fair that would be a little bit wasted when there's some, some magnificent carp that's hitting the bank I know he's been doing numerous 30s and I'm sure the big girl come out as well from talking to a couple of uh, the members on here Anyway, I've got an hour. Let's walk up and down this bank. Let's see if we can uh, intercept a cop, a cop, a per perch, or a pike. And then I might make my way over onto the M6 opposite if I've got enough time. Or if I don't break my, cell, my back by falling down this bank. Water is gin clear, which can only be a good thing. But again, it's whether the pike are here to whether we get a bite. Looks like a lot of the uh, weed has gone. Just picking up a little bit as I'm dragging it through, but let's just get a bit of a different angle on it. As I said earlier, I'd like to sit just at the bottom of this structure where these rocks go out. And to be honest, you ain't got to cast too many times because if they're there, you'll get a hit off them. They're not hard to catch. You've just got to find them on here to whether you get a bite.
beautiful morning again sun's just coming up and I'm out on the bank with this wind pushing in and the lovely clean air in my lungs Well, time to move on. There's no point having too many casts in each wind because the water's so clear that then pike will see that from a very good distance away. And if they're not there, then you won't get the heat. Come on the pike, come on. All we need is that one pike, that's all we need. There we go, there we go. Oh, damn. Just hit it a little bit wrong. Damn. Oh, what a shame, nearly. Yep, got one, no.
Here we go. Got one. So I didn't think that was going to happen. This one. How about that? Mr. Swan. See if there's some more out there. That'll be the first pike of the year. And very welcome indeed. Right, the bait is going to be absolutely pissed because look what I've just found. And that. Is a spawn from our collection. Straight in my basket. Oh. Ooh, Andy Woodland, I am nicking your spawns today. You would have definitely had that if I uh, hadn't a beat him round here today. One pike, one spawn. This session is turning out pretty good.
Right, so that's this bag done. I'm going to uh, trudge all the way over to the opposite bank. Have a couple of casts up there and also just on the island bank down by the pines and just a couple of swims up. So let's get over there and continue on. As I said, I'm not going to be down blanking. I've got my bending rod, I've got my pike, my swarm. Oh, so that's a result already. Green handles, fantastic swim, right time of the year. Carpe. The swamp, another absolute superb swim that Dave created about two years ago. We just have to bivy up just in this area and wade out but Dave's put this staging out there and uh, made it a lot better the pipe swim would be wrong for me not to have a little uh, cast out here this is the location of where I've caught my biggest pike out of here uh, just under 17 However, it wasn't caught on a lure, it was actually caught on a white pop-up as I was bringing it in. Um, usually, the pipe sit out in front of this during the night. So, it may be out there because we've had a little bit of water. Usually find that the perch usually go into this hole and come out and the pike sit at the end of this trench that goes out as i said it's worth a cast in here it's just a couple of them just run it down the trench see if there's anything sat out in in front of it Obviously I don't want to disturb the swans in any way. This will probably be my last cast in this swim. Right, the M6. Let's see if there's any pike out here. Want to play? And take a look into this jig. By the way, all the lure is is just a curly tail. I'm not too sure of the make. I think I'll get them from Angling Direct. Just gives a little bit of a movement at the back and it's in that nice fire tiger pattern which I've had pike on down here before on that colour which I have done today to be fair you can see where the rocks go out which probably go out round about 12 foot this is definitely deeper than over there this side
Oh, you can see that, some of these initials in the rock obviously when the water's been really low they've just carved the name or the initials in it never seen that before I'm saying that this year there's uh, water's been down quite a lot and it's only just starting to push up now I was literally down on the rocks down here playing a carp last year which is now underwater oh, oh shit ow ow <laughs> I knew it was going to fall out on this session. I just knew it. Probably the last cast. Just draw it in front of these reeds, see if anything's there that will come out. It's not looking good. Well, that's a short hour and a half out. We managed one pike and one spawn. So, not too bad, considering the short amount of time we've been out. And just trying to get a bend in the rod during the uh, colder months of the year. And just about me being out on the bank, enjoying myself and bringing the cameras with me. So for now, I'm gonna get back off home, have me a cup of tea, and I'll see you next week, hopefully, on a day ticket doing a little bit of carp fishing. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give it a subscribe. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Right, ta-da guys. <laughs>